Hello, welcome to the latest episode of The Real South Africa. This is a special moment because we're going to be in Cape Town. We generally never go, or we don't go, but we changed our policies here, and we're going to go to Cape Town so you guys can see exactly what happens. It's going to be broken up in a two parts so enjoy this first part of course uh, like and subscribe and let everybody know that you um, are watching our channel and of course we would love for you to share it and again welcome to the real South Africa and we'll see you inside And of course, you can go to our website and purchase our book. Um, it's 15 US dollars, obviously. It's a great book if you're looking at transitioning into South Africa. All the information you need is there. And then, of course, you can work with us. All right, guys, we have arrived. We are in sunny South Africa in Cape Town. This place is absolutely beautiful. Um, most people say that it's probably one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world. Um, it's kind of hard to argue that. So we're going to um, take you through a part of it, kind of get you an idea and get you acclimated to Cape Town. But of course, if you want to come here as a tourist, we can definitely sort you out. Just uh, reach out to us at therealsouthafrica.com, as you may already know. And of course, you can select that trip. And then once you select it, uh, you will be here with us in sunny South Africa, enjoying the good weather and the good vibes. So stay tuned for this video. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. See you on the inside again. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Mark Blanton from the Real South Africa. And also we have Tasha here as well. Hi. And the good part about it is we have finally, and I repeat, finally returned to Cape Town. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long while, but definitely ready to be here. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. We got asked to come down, so we figured we would come on down and uh, spend a little bit of time in Cape Town just to review some things. And we haven't been here a long time, so but it's coming back to me. My 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 memories of, of where to go and what to do they're coming back. So we're going to try to spend a little bit of time showing you what's available here, what's here. Uh, and whatnot. And of course, you know, you guys need to come here as a tourist, you know, with the real South Africa because, you know, we have everything set up for you very proper. Um, and everybody knows that is by now uh, and so forth. But yeah, this is just this, this city is pretty, it's pretty nice. They say it's, it's, it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Um, and we're about to, you know, uh, reimagine that because we have literally forgot uh, how pretty it is you know they got nice beaches great tourist attractions and of course the weather um, today is actually pretty good um sunny of course this is sunny south africa so what do you expect so yeah just um uh, just 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 stick with us for, on the ride so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the camera around and we're going to show you um what we're seeing right now you know it's a very very vibrant city obviously the infrastructure is is nice and that's probably what you would expect from Cape Town um, yeah you would definitely expect that most people do um, it's a world-class city kind of like Johannesburg <laughs> yeah but uh, right now it's the middle of the day and this is what it looks like We're, we just left the uh, we just left the uh, airport and we're driving and driving in one of the most fabulous cars in the world it's called a quid don't be like that yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> don't be yeah, like this that. thing boy it is something it's definitely not a porsche i can i can i can admit that uh let me get this thing got your way uh, this car is fighting against me all the way but we're gonna we're gonna continue to move forward um hopefully we get a chance to meet some uh some some good people that we have here um, also, too, um, we're going to be reviewing this beautiful hotel. It's brand spanking new. Um, they gave us a call, and they were like, "Hey, could you come down and you know review the hotel? We would love to have some of your tourists here visiting." So it was like, "Great, not a problem." But they they need to understand. Of course, they know that we're not going to bring anybody anywhere until we come see it ourselves. And then once we see it ourselves, then um, yeah, we could recommend or not recommend. There have been times when we were like, nah, this isn't 
exactly what we were we were looking for. So, um, of course, you know we here at the Real South Africa, um, you know we we pride ourselves on bringing you the best, especially for those that are flying nine, ten, twelve thousand miles, um, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen hours, or even longer, sometime in the air just to get to this country. Um, it's a big ask, so we could at least, um, you know, check things out, make sure that they're proper. You want a very nice place to lay your head down after you travel that far. Yeah. So, um, and something good to eat. Oh, definitely gotta have it. <laughs> um, so just want to make sure that that uh, that you have all those things in place. So we just like to test it out first. Yeah. So again, we're gonna show you what we're looking at. Um, you know, the terrain is hilly or mountainous on one side. And then of course you have your little you know, valley areas. And then of course to the right, which we which I'm getting ready to show you because right now we're on Nelson Mandela Boulevard. Um, to the right, you're going to see probably the, one of the most amazing views that you're going to see um, today. Uh, and then we have more views and then more views because that's the whole thing with Cape Town. There's always more views whenever you think you saw at all, you see something else, <laughs> and you know it is what it is, and that's why um, I think Cape Town is, is probably one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Of course, there are those that will debate. I would say it may be the most. It may not even be the most beautiful location in South Africa, but it's definitely the the most beautiful city. Most yeah, most beautiful is city <laughs> in um, in South Africa. So right now we're um, we're passing with you know the the ports and stuff like that. We're passing the ports, and then over here in, in the front, we're passing where we're actually entering. We're going to be skirting the city. We won't be going in the city right now, but we're going to skirt it a little bit. But yeah, but this is actually, um, the city. And you see, it's very tropical. As you see, all the um, palm trees, and um, you know, you can tell by you know, uh, the weather, um, right now today and actually a little bit later on today, it's going to be pretty windy according to the forecast. And, uh, they get some, they get some very strong winds down here in, in, uh, Cape town as well. So, but, uh, but again, you know, people here, they're used to it. They know how to deal with it. But as people who come in visiting, we're like, Whoa, what's going on? And then of course that mountain to the left up there, we call that lion's head because it's shaped like a lion sitting down or laying down or resting or getting ready to pounce or one or the other or three or the other i don't know so then of course we're we're passing through the city and whatnot we think it's really cool it looks very nice especially at night um we do this event and we'll probably go up there at some point where um where they have some of the best sun sunsets in the world and i will i will put that against anything and you can get get a chance to see the city and it's all lit up. So, yeah. Of course, they, you know, just like Cape Town, they're always doing some construction. They always got something going on. That's just, that's just the way it is. So we're gonna make this, we're gonna make this right here. I probably should've went the other way, but we're gonna go uh, towards Sea Point. Um, these names are starting to come back to me. <laughs> And then there's the VNA waterfront and so forth. So, um, I said this video is going to be pretty long because uh, we're going to be here for three complete days. And of course, we can't see everything we want to. We can't. We just can't see everything because uh, the, the, the city has so much to offer. But we're going to see a lot of stuff. We're going to be traveling, um, traveling everywhere. And I'm going to end up having to do it in this car. Yeah, this car. Um, yeah, we got here, and you know, uh, I was fortunate enough for a few days prior that I actually uh, went online and made a made a booking, and it was a little difficult because every, everywhere I looked, there was no cars available. However, I was able to go to this other site, and I was able to find a car, and I found a car. Yeah, by definition, only trust me but anyway um we was able to rent this car so we was fortunate when i got there i tried to upgrade she says we don't have anything available so i was like okay well we will stick with this as long as we can <laughs> but it does have apple carplay 
who knew? So, but yeah, uh, hopefully our, our our time in this car is okay. Um, what do you think, Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I don't know where the story is going to go. Um, I'm just really happy to be back in Cape Town. I did kind of forget. I really forgot like how beautiful you it forgot. actually. I didn't forget how you beautiful forgot. it was. No, we drove these streets. We drove these yeah. streets, bro. Sure, we pretty we, much walked these we, streets. We walked them. We rode them. We drove them. Um, we did a lot of things here. Um, but it was just so long ago where we actually had to spend some significant time here. Um, so I'm excited to, to be here and I just think that, you know, what you guys are going to see, um, you know, this, um, I don't know what to call it, but this time when we're showing stuff around, it's going to be um, a lot of good stuff. I mean, just the things that we have been asked to do while we're here, we definitely want to be able to show it to you. We want to be able to vet all of the places that we, um, you know, take you guys to. So always looking at something new to bring you. Um, so yeah so that's kind of where i am like i'm excited to be able to add something new to the pot um for the people that you know definitely want to explore cape town because you do have to come to cape town um at least for a few days because it really yes. is it really is absolutely gorgeous i mean it just i can't and it has a different feel a completely different feel than Joburg. like I don't even know, like what would you say, how would you describe the feeling here in Cape Town? Well, it is, it is, it is definitely, you know, I, I, I don't, honestly, I don't even know what to say. I know, I'm like, I don't really know. I feel like I'm relaxed in Johannesburg yeah. anyway because like I just, because it's, it's home. But this has like a little bit of a... I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it was just yeah, so it's, pretty. it's more... It's more along the lines of saying, you know, is it is 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 or if yeah, if you were um, oh if you were um, literally um, hold on one second. <laughs> so as we were are getting back to um, our tour, we um, how can I explain it? Um, no, it's, it's almost like being on a postcard. So you're constantly, your head is on a swivel and you're constantly looking around and then you're like, wow, the weather's good, the people are nice. Um, you're always smelling good food somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> your butt is just hungry probably. Yeah, you? so you just be like, wow, this is this is real. Um, and it's, you know, a clean city, of course. So you really, you really can't complain, but that, you know, again, it's different. I, I would say it's different from from Joe Bird, but like I said, I, I think coming here give you just another flavor of of what South Africa has to offer. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So sure. Gonna show you. We're in the city now. So, um, as you can see, huge buildings. I mean, like huge buildings, beautiful buildings, beautiful just everything and I think that you're right when you say your head's on the swivel because yeah. you really you really want to be able to try and like capture everything with your eyeballs and it's funny because no matter how many pictures you take it'll never like really fully be exactly like what you see you know yeah. what I mean
continue. <laughs> okay, so they got us another restaurant Step now. Yeah, it's a different restaurant. Oh, and another one's coming. Another pharmacy's coming there. Yeah. 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 This is Mark Blanton. Dr. Latasha Blanton. <laughs> and we have made it back to Cape Town. Cape Town! <laughs> As we said before. And we're really happy to be here. Um, yeah. It, I don't know, man. <laughs> I keep turning around and looking. I've got Lionhead Mountain to my right. Yeah. Um, it's just, it, it really is unbelievably Ooh beautiful breathtaking serene like you need to get a little bit of relaxation in your life and this is the place where you should absolutely do it so i am like all over the place trying to take it all in because it really is that yeah. that beautiful 
Yeah, we're in a good spot right now. We're in a place, we're between Clifton, um, which is just up the hill, and then down there, which you're looking at, is um, Camps Bay. Um, very nice area. Mm -hmm. um, kind of hoity toity. You'll want to come down here, have a drink. Uh, I think, uh, and obviously, where we are right now is in a parking lot of uh, the bungalow. Which um, is another one of our favorite you will be eating there. <laughs> restaurants for you guys to eat. They have the most amazing sunsets. Yeah. So what we like to try and do while you're here is that we uh, put you in place where you can see a good sunset. One of them is Signal Hill, which is right next door to Lion Head. So you can see the sunset and the green flash. And the other one is right here having dinner at the bungalow. Yeah. So anyway uh, as y'all guys know we're the real south of africa and we like to bring you guys good good content obviously but we want you guys to to take advantage of, of what we're doing um here in south africa you know we're the only travel and tourism company from america that's actually you know bringing you you know the proper vacations the proper uh, everything um, because we're here like right now we're down here we're actually vetting a new location mm -hmm. for you guys to go to um, they asked us to come down we decide to come we're going to check it out and if it's hot then you know we, we, we'll put it on the schedule but if it's not then, then what we then we don't so we do our very best to make sure that we check it out first um, I think that when you say that we you know on the ground and we do things proper I mean we try to make sure that we have everything in place for you from you know how you properly vacation to where you go and eat at yeah. to the things you experience um because you need to have those things in your life especially yeah. if you drive or fly you driving nowhere yeah. uh you know <laughs> like, like he said earlier you know nine to twelve thousand miles to come to another continent so um because we are the only ones doing this we want to make sure that we bring you good information um we research everything we have a very solid team in place for yeah. a lot of things um and we're doing a lot of different things and we do that so that you can have you know like a one-stop shop for your answers because there are a lot of questions out there yeah but we, yeah yeah there's a lot of questions <laughs> there's a lot of questions but, but if you actually you know pay attention we kind of uh give you a lot of answers as well so yeah, you, yeah and, and the reality is you see i keep looking down there it's so pretty Yeah, because we're going to go down there next and take a take a little peek but you, you definitely you know need to come for those people who like the beach you know who like the the whole miami lifestyle whatever case may palm be. trees there it is there it is and it's right here in south africa and i think like i said the real south africa we can actually you know bring it to you so um all i can say to you is, is just go to our website um, you're going to hear me say it a lot because our website's been been revamped you can actually you know pick pick everything i mean if you want to go to joburg if you want to go to cape town and joburg if mm -hmm. you want to go to cape town joburg and durban mm -hmm. everything is is on the website yep and if you go to the website but you must go to the website. You can just scroll through, pick everything you need, pick pick everything. Yeah. Um, and then go ahead and go ahead and, and, and pay for it right then and there. And then you can then you're going to be in in sunny South Africa with us. So I don't know what else to tell you, but yeah. we about to go down the way. So we will see you here in sunny South Africa. Bye guys.
All right, everybody. Uh, we are out here. We just decided to stop because you're going to find yourself stopping a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the scene. And, of course, you can't see what we see, but we're about to show it to you. We're about to show it to you. Are y'all ready? Here we go. This is what we're looking at here, and this is what all the fuss is all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it's all about. What do you think, Tasha? I mean, the houses up in the hills, the whole just, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is literally like the definition of a panoramic view. I mean, yeah. 360 degrees of nothing but absolute beautifulness. Yeah, I, I, I think about it sometimes. But first of all, let me, that mountain that y'all see up there, with the list, if you look at it, look at, they call it Lion's Head, and it looks like a, a little a little mountain of, like a lion sitting down like, like, with his yeah. mane. So just kind of look at it closely, but they call it Lion's Head. And when we stayed here, because we actually stayed here for several months um, some time ago, we actually... Um, used that to wake up every, every morning. Yeah, every morning we would wake up and be like, holy crap, you know. It was just nice because sometimes you would see like um, clouds flowing over it or whatever and just in the morning. So it was it was pretty interesting. So we do understand this area very much so. Would you say, Tasha? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm over here soaking up the sun. It feels so... So good. And I'm just looking at all these beautiful houses. This is a, a random duck sitting on top of somebody's house. Yeah. Um, but it is it is gorgeous here. It is just, oh, he hurt me. He flew off. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm almost speechless because it really is that pretty. I, keep forget, I can't believe I forgot how beautiful it was. Yeah, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. We're going to take you guys with us. So, yeah, we're going to go for a little walk. Obviously, the, the police department is right across the street. Make sure everybody stays safe and whatnot. But we're just going to walk down the street. And like I said, this is called Camps Bay. Um, a lot of nice restaurants, I would say. I, I, th I mean, I would call it almost like a promenade, really, because it has, like, restaurants and hotels and a little shopping center, like, all within, like, walking distance from the beach. So uh -huh. if you, you know, are staying down here at the Bay Hotel, you literally have choices beyond choices for food places to shop and you are steps away from the beach yes the beach in fact, let me look at that yeah oh my gosh it's so beautiful <laughs> yeah this is pretty pretty nice and what's that how are you and you can actually get into the water here they got these little inlets where the water come in. You know, I think they have people, they, they actually get the clams that come out on a regular basis. I think they might. Look at that house, house out over there. Wow. It's called Blue Views. You know, Whoa. this is probably like some um, ultra expensive location in California. Uh, I wouldn't say Florida because I don't have any mountains, but these ultra locations that you find here in, in the world. You can find that right here in Cape Town. And especially, this is just a suburb, I would say. Yeah, this is just a suburb of, um, of Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. So, guys, if you're watching this, you know, like I said, obviously you can give us a buzz. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously you can give us a buzz as well, or at least send us an email so we can kind of see if we can, can sort you out, you know? So. If you ever get lost, I think you should just point your way to Lion's Head. <laughs> yeah. Because no matter where you look, that's exactly what you see. I mean, I just see water and palm yeah. trees and uh, let me, mountains. Let's, let's walk down here. Yeah, let's walk down here. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to tell you. You know what? Like I said, we we haven't been coming down here because we've been so busy everywhere else making sure everything else is good that we literally forgot about Camps Bay and just coming down here, spending the day down here. They got the inlet pool down that way, obviously. They got a place for the kids to play. It's always about the kids, man. <laughs> yeah, it's always about the kids. <laughs> oh my god. And of course if you get hungry, 
You got some world-class restaurants right next door. Yeah. So you can't beat that. Oh, it is. It's actually called the Promenade, huh? Go figure. What? It's actually, it says the Promenade yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. So we're walking down to the beach now, and there are several beaches in. Cape Town as well. These are just more of the, the prominent ones. Um, like I said, this is, and then this is during the week, so it's not packed, but on the weekend, it's packed. It is, it is packed. Um, of course, I like the, like the palm trees, as y'all guys can't see it, but there's a brother sitting under the tree over there. That and, is the uh, life right there. Yeah, he's, 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 he's living his best life. Planting from the real South Africa, and guess where I'm at? Obviously, I'm in South Africa, but I'm in a place called Camps Bay. And that's one of the beaches that we have here in Cape Town that's available for you. It's absolutely stunning here. You will you will enjoy your time here. All you have to do, obviously, is contact us. But look at this. This is this is this is incredible. And that mountain right there is called um, what is it called? What is it called? It's called Lion's Head. If you happen, if you don't know what it is, look it up. It's absolutely beautiful. It's well worth it. So again. You, you can't beat this. You, you, you really can't beat this. And we got good pricing. Obviously, we got good packages ready to go. Just go to the website, therealsouthafrica.com, select Cape Town, and we'll make sure that you're here with us in sunny South Africa. Hello, everybody. Hope all is well. Things are good on your end. Um, this is Mr. Blanton from the real South Africa. I decided to go for a little walk. Just leaving that house, that beautiful house right here. I'm in a pretty good situation with people who invited us so we can, um, you know, help people find some of the best tourist attractions here in South Africa. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let you guys see what I'm seeing right now. So I'm just gonna flip this camera around so you guys can see, but this is, uh, about five o'clock, five thirty here in um, a certain part of uh, Joburg. Ha <laughs> ha! Forget that. That's Cape Town, baby. Like I said, we were coming to Cape Town, and we're here. So, as you guys know, we always try to bring you the best of what's available. We are we're staying there, so you'll probably see a little bit of footage from there. A whole lot of footage, actually. But I just wanted to walk out to the beach. You know, it's going to be a little windy right now because it's the end of the day but it's still beautiful we're going to sit out here and we're going to check out the the uh, sunset or we call it sundowns over here but if you look way down there that's what they call table mountain so you see there's a lot of advertisements and things like that and then of course um the clouds rolled in a little bit happens a lot here but these are the beaches that we're talking about here in South Africa. Right now, like I said, it's kind of windy, so I'm hoping that it's not messing up my audio, but we're gonna shoot it anyway. But it goes all the way down that way. And then of course, there's a lot of people out here having a great time. You have a lot of surfers, you have a lot of kite surfers as well down here. So, but this is where we are. At least this is where I'm at. Pretty interesting. But if you have any questions, you know, um, about South Africa, about, hey, I want to come and check it out too. I want to have an experience. I want to warn you that most of you guys that are going to come are going to want to come again and again and again. There are, um, people who came the first time, those that were the most skeptical are the ones that are, the ones that are usually the ones that are repeat offenders. I think a lot of times they are like shocked with the simple fact that, you know, I can come here, do something affordable um, in South Africa, which is two or three levels or maybe more about what they would normally be expecting. You know, some of us like to go to like a, a local, uh, what you call it, a local beach, like Myrtle Beach, you know, get a little uh, a room like the Holiday Inn or something like that and, you know, find a little quiet spot on the beach try to hang out that weekend but here you know you can do a lot more um, a lot more for a lot less so I will always suggest that you come 
here to South Africa. So, um, yeah. So, I'm like I said, I'm going to turn this around so you can see what I'm walking back to. Um, this location here is in front of us. Um, this is their launch. And of course, you know, Girl South Africa had to be here, so they called us and we, they brought us down and, you know, went to house for a few days so we can check it out. But I think it's so far it's doing well, it's passing. I think this is going to be a location. So when we call you guys, or better yet, when you're calling us and you're saying, I want something like this or I want something like that, we basically already know. Or you can trust what you see on the internet and the pictures, and you can go with that, um, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But trust, we have already vetted it. And if I'm telling you, or well, the Real Life Africa is recommending that you come to a place like this, then probably need to follow our recommendations. So while we're here, we're going to check out a few other places as well. We're going to go to a, a few um, wine, wine farms, uh, wineries, vineyards um, here as well, where they make the wine and so forth. So we're going to do that as well. So it's going to be interesting, but now we're getting closer up so you guys can see where we are. And if you look off in the distance there in that pink, you'll probably recognize that individual. That is the other part, or another part, of the real South Africa. That's Latasha Blanting. Yeah, but all these people that are here are in the tourism space or in the, the travel space, uh, either from the financing perspective or just all kind of areas in the tourism space. So it's going to be nice. And like I said, we were very excited to be able to come and represent the U.S. at this property here because they know who we are and they're like, we want you guys to come out and possibly so we can get some nice, you know, people from the U.S. to come visit and see what's going on. Ah. <laughs> and then you want to say the picture of the sunset I just took is, does not do any justice to what I'm actually looking at it's going to be amazing in a few minutes and I wish you guys were here to see it um, and you can be here to see it and you know what I'm going to say go to the website scroll <laughs> down hit Cape Town 61013 hit the book now button make your deposit and get over here like you, I'm telling you, like, I want to share this with everybody. I want to share this with you. You watching, I want to share it with you. So, get here. <laughs> Your photo. Um... Yes, I did. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can, uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, I do have it on. She, she, she's killing my. She's video bombing me like crazy. Come on, let's. Come on, let's go. Let's go over here. Okay. Uh, make sure my. Uh, we gotta go down here because if you go that way, you'll probably end up in the water. I'm gonna go this way. All right, guys, this is who we have here. We have this young lady. She is from California, somewhere in California. West Side Rams, LA. Oh, Lord. Bowl, you, you went West there. Super Bowl ever. We yes, were trying to keep this thing that. civil. We did that. We were trying to keep this civil, but now we got to go there. I haven't missed being home in years, and that was the only time I missed being in LA. And so this must be like the best Super Bowl. Uh, halftime show ever. Did you watch it? I did. And you know what? It's my uh, second favorite because I love Beyonce. So what? Beyonce, the, that was my first one. Beyonce. Was, I mean, honestly. All the was, people. Beyonce. Yeah, this was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm loyal. I'm going to be high. Okay. Well, I, I will, since we went since we went sideways on this interview <laughs> from the start, I would say uh, my favorite 
As soon as somebody said that the best all time was, was the next day, I was like, no, it's I not. I what you're going to say. I said Prince. I knew you were going to say Prince. Prince killed it. I knew you were going to say Prince. Prince killed it. Prince killed it, but you know what? I'm going to tell all you why this was himself. my favorite. But let me tell you why this was my favorite. Bye. Honestly, even put Beyonce to the side. This was my favorite because okay. it was good to see so many black people employed on that field. Yeah, you yeah. Know? True, like, true, true, I've true. I've never seen that many people employed at one time. Oh, so you saying Prince was being selfish because he did it all uh, by himself you know, and carried it? You know, I'm sure he gave. <laughs> back in other ways uh, okay. but you know yeah. I also yeah. was super proud to see all of us and the show was produced choreographed it was all like everything so yeah mm, okay 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 you know? well so it was a good moment for us for us Yes. Are you talking about the people from LA? Or? I'm, I'm talking about the black people okay, all okay. around the world, the whole okay. diaspora. Okay, I can have to say, I think y'all yes. borrowed that team from St. Louis. Uh-uh. If I remember correctly. Oh, okay, now you want to, oh, you know yep, what? Yep, yep, I'm yep, going to yep. push you in the pool. <laughs> I know. You see, you see this pool? You in the pool. It happens, it happens. I've been in pools before. It's no big deal. Okay, cool. So now, now we were speaking earlier. You said something about this, 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 and, and you didn't get to the reason why you like it here in, in, in Cape Town so much. Oh, wow. Because I feel like um, it's home. It's community. I feel like cause I'm in the wine industry and they've accepted me and there's work to be done and it's possible to do the work here. First of all, they know you in the, they, they know you in the wine industry. They know who you are. Ah, do they know? Do they do. Know? Do, do. y'all know who I am? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> Thank they, you for putting me up. Thank you for putting me up. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> well, they know who you are You because we send people down here. They, 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 they say they had a good time. You taught them yeah, a lot about wine. The new people that need to come down here. How come y'all haven't been? Uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm talking to them. Mm, yeah, you, know, you are. My, my homies that been here, y'all know what I do. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know why I'm here. Why I don't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. People been telling me they they figuring out how they can quit their job and come be with me in South mm. Africa in Cape Town. In Cape Town. Yeah. Okay. 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 So now, when you talk about when you talk about the the industry down here, mm-hmm. I think you're plugged in all the way around, or you just have a certain sector that you deal with. Is it more? No, it's all the way. I feel like it's all the way around. Like, okay. It's definitely all the way around. I mean, of course, there's still things that I'm trying to touch in the industry and trying to put my footmark mm-hmm. on and my head mark on. But when I think about like the change that I'm making for all of us, mm-hmm. like it's just exciting. Like, cause and and you know. I, I deal with a lot of people in the industry. White people, black people, hotels, mm-hmm. wineries, restaurants. Hot- hotels? Everything. Like this? Like this. Like hotels. Like, like, like where we at? Like where we at? I mean, look at where we at right now, y'all. Guys, look at this. Look at that. Look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing. And yes. it's because of this young lady right here yes. who's put her, her, her print on you know what? This Cape is, Town. And not only that, you know what? It's like... This is how I am. I'm that person. Say my name. Say my name. Uh-huh. No one is around you. You know, so like, I'm going to give love to mm-hmm. the people that give me love. So when they were like, hey, we have this opportunity, and I saw this beautiful property, okay. and they were like, oh, you know, there was some bartering going on, and I was like, oh, well, can I get two rooms? And mm-hmm. then I had the extra room. I was like, who can I call that I know would appreciate this lifestyle? Yeah, this is this is the lifestyle. Yes. This is the lifestyle. And who can I introduce them to so that they can have another place that they might want to market to their customers? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always trying to network and pull people together. And I feel like in Cape Town, it's easy for me to do that, too. Mm-hmm. Like it's easy for me to put other people on. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. That's okay. part of the reason that I like it, too. Okay. Okay. Opportunities. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, I think the people that when they, when they do come, especially with the real South Africa, and they come to Cape Town... Um, then you're going to be part of the yeah, the, yeah. the experience. Come watch the sunset. The sun has set. Let, let, let matter of fact, let's, let's flip at, this let's bad look boy. look at this. Let's look at this. Like the sun yeah. just went down. And look yeah. at the mountains over there. You see those mountains? Yeah. Look at that. You see that big that big U, that dip? That's like all the Cape Town right there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so so the girl, so the girl likes it. The girl likes it. (laughs) You know, I love it here. I do. I do. I love Cape Town. Okay. Okay. So I would. So you would suggest not just simply because you love it that that we do need to come visit Africa and especially South Africa or South Africa. First of all, definitely visit Africa, period. Period. Um, as a human being, you need to step foot on this continent. Yeah. Um, visit South Africa yeah. because there's so many things like me, like mountains, like beaches. <laughs> um, yeah, visit South Africa. Visit Cape Town especially. Yeah. I know Mark is a, jo- a Joburg boy, but like... Ah. 
Yeah, just sure. you know, just come to the continent. Come say what's up to your cousins. Come say what's up to your cousins. Okay, okay, hey. okay, okay. Let me turn this around. <laughs> Yes, I am a Joe Bird guy, but I have spent a lot of time down here in this this city. I spent a lot of time here, and uh, we spent um, we just decided on Joe Bird, but we we got liaisons yes. down here. So, um, people, when you guys are, Sorry, yes, sure. you yeah, are. Yes, okay. Oh no, what? you can just say hi, cousin. Say hey. Say hey, hey cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you see how hospitable they yeah. are. Like, she want to make sure she's like, there's a problem. Yeah. Twenty's glass is empty. Like, yeah, and, and yeah. And yeah. But, no, but, I, I, but I do have a drink. I have one sitting over yeah. there. Yeah, I'm gonna get some red wine. Yes, we'll bring that. Thank you. Okay. You see, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, they want to make sure we're taking care of you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you guys need to. Need to come on through, pull through. We'll take care of you when you're here and whatnot. You know, with the real South Africa, just you know, buzz us. And then, of course, when, we, when you're coming to Cape Town, then we're gonna go ahead and line you up with, with one of these, with one of these experts because there's, because there's a lot going on in Cape Town. There's always a lot going on in yeah. Cape Town. It's it's hard to stay focused sometimes. Yeah. Like my work week right now is crazy. Like between and they call what do they call Cape Town? They call it um, Cape Town is a lifestyle. Yes. It's a li like living in Cape Town literally is a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like what you so, guys are seeing right now behind so us. This is. Please send money. My enemies are after me. <laughs> Hashtag Kinder Swindler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what was up with that? <laughs> you, you haven't seen it yet? No. You have to see it because then you'll get the joke. Then you'll get the joke. Was it a YouTube thing? It's, um, it's on Netflix, but it's called Tinder Swindler. You can watch it. In oh, yeah. I, I've seen it, but I've just moved past no, it. No, but you should watch it. It's so, it's funny. Tasha was telling me something about it. Yeah. So when you see that on um, Instagram, Mm -hmm. People are saying, please send money. My enemies are after me. It's, it's a funny, just a joke. I'm about to get somebody to uh, break it down for me. I'll, I'll probably won't watch. That's how he swindled these women out of money. He mm -hmm. would say, my enemies are after me. I can't use any of my credit cards. Can you send me cash? And people were doing it. This one woman took out a loan. She took out a loan. Okay, but that's enough about the Yeah, 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 yeah. She took yeah, out yeah. a loan, though, to, to, to send him money because his enemies were after him. <laughs> hmm. Craziness. <laughs> so that's the inside joke. <laughs> Now tomorrow, are we are we going to? Oh yeah! And by the way, we're at Seoul Atlantic Palms in Sunset Beach. That's right. Say that again. Seoul Atlantic Palms in Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach because you have a perfect view of the sunset. Yeah. Yes. Um. And tomorrow, tomorrow I'm super excited. Yeah. Tomorrow we are going to do a version of my Sips with Soul tour. We won't be able to talk to as many winemakers, I don't think, because yeah, but we'll be out in that beautiful harvest, area because it's harvest season. Yeah, but, but it's beautiful. We're gonna we're gonna visit Seven Sisters. Okay. Um, that's black owned. Um, the building, the the farmland, all of it's black owned. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna visit um Spear, which is a very common commercial winery. But the organic winemaker Tanya, we're mm -hmm. gonna try to sneak into her cellar. She's black. Um, and she's amazing. Okay. And she has a she's working on a she has a bachelor's in wine something, mm -hmm. and she's working on a PhD in wine. So she's super dope. And then we're gonna go to Bears Clue. Bears Clue has mm -hmm. a black vineyard manager. So we're gonna go talk to Solomon. And Thank you. Yeah. So if y'all wanna know where the wine just popped up from from yes. over there, I'm the wine genie. <laughs> <laughs> Poof. Coming out Poof. of bottles and stuff. Poof. <laughs> Alright, so gosh, this has been amazing. I'm so glad you guys came yeah, down to see yeah. me. I'm so glad that they came down to see me. We're going to have a really good couple days. Yeah. You guys will see. Yeah, this is you, just the beginning. Yeah. So, you guys will probably see more of her uh, hanging around the uh, the real South Africa as far as, you know, Cape Town is concerned since he... I'm the resident Somalia at the real South Africa. <laughs> cool. And then, of course, we give you guys all her contact details so you guys, if you or just creeping around, or you guys are in 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 Cape Town, and you guys need some professional help. Can you just call it? Here we are in the dusk, and this is Cape Town, and that's Table Mountain. Sunset, maybe a few minutes ago. And this is incredible. I'm telling you, man, that's one thing I can say about Cape Town. Visually, they will never disappoint, ever. And of course, this is where we're located at now. All right, guys, we are at the Seoul Atlantic Palm Stills next day in the morning. Um, and we're at breakfast. And of course, we have 
the beautiful Natasha Blanton sitting right there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I like how they do it here because you come down here, it's very intimate because there's only nine rooms, but they actually make breakfast here and so forth. She's very happy <laughs> for you. So it's kind of like a home, it is a homemade breakfast. And then of course the coffee is made and everything looks great and wonderful. So we really appreciate all the hospitality and yeah, she's taking care of things. So it's not so much like a hotel feeling. So. Yeah, and it's much, 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 much better than an Airbnb. It's a very boutique hotel. It's what, Tyson? It's a boutique hotel, and it feels very boutique-ish. Okay. All right, our lattes are here. Yep, our lattes are here, as you can see, and she's taking care of us. Let's see. Is that the single? Uh, so, what's in line with the whole? So anyway, we're going to eat our breakfast, and then we're going to show you around this location. But again, this is something that as the real South Africa, we can source for you. You're gonna to wanna to be here. And so when we say, um, we've been there, we've been there. See you inside. Hello everyone, this is Mark Edward Blanton with The Real South Africa and thank you for joining us in this video. This video is gonna be kind of special because we're giving you guys the opportunity to live and be part of the lifestyles that you may have seen us um, promote here in South Africa. All these lifestyles are, are readily available, but if you've never been here, it's kind of hard for you guys to understand exactly what we're talking about. So. Obviously, you can come here as a tourist. We would love for you guys to come here as a tourist to see it for yourself. And there have been hundreds of people who have done that. And a lot of people are like, wow, this is incredible. And then, of course, we've had people who have actually moved here the whole nine. So um, with that being said, we feel like we have paved the way 
for those who are looking at trying to find uh, 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 another path. Let's just go with that. Um, and maybe you can find it here in South Africa. So what we're gonna do in November, we're gonna have a trip, beautiful trip. We're gonna have everybody come. It's gonna be a scenario where you can actually go look at some of these properties. We're gonna have real estate agents on, on board. We're gonna have anything dealing with homes. We're gonna have those people on, on board. And then you have the opportunity to look at these homes. Now, I know you're probably thinking, so you're telling me that I can come from America and come look at these homes, and if I like them, I can purchase. There, the answer to that question is, Yes, that's why we're doing it. So we want to make it available to you and we think it should be available to everyone. So that's why we're setting up this trip. Of course, it's going to be first come, first serve. So what we need for you to do is go to uh, your email box and say info at the real South Africa .com. Send us an email and say you're interested in getting on the list. Um, and then eventually we will send you more information and then you can go ahead and sign up for the trip. It's gonna be, I'm telling you, it's gonna be an awesome trip and it's gonna be a one-stop shop. And like I said, those that are looking for the lock up and go situation where you can come spend a little time and then go back, we're gonna have those available as well. So that's the, the scope of what this trip is gonna be about. But of course, we are the real side of Africa, so you're still gonna have the opportunity to have some fun, you know, a little nightlife meet some cool people, meet some South Africans, just basically just have a great South African experience. And all I can say is sign up for this trip and you'll get all the information. Now, once you sign up for the trip, then you will be part of an exclusive club that ultimately we will be talking to you direct. We will give you links to um, where we're going to be showing homes and where you can look. And it's going to be hundreds of homes possibly thousands of homes that you can look at. Then you can start chatting with agents and start doing all, a lot of this groundwork before you actually get here in South Africa. So, so when you get here, you'll be a little bit familiar and then you will know exactly what we're doing. But we feel that everyone should at least have the opportunity to possibly, you know, move to South Africa or at least come here, have a good time, meet some Africans. And if this is your first time in, in, in South Africa, I'm, all I'm gonna say is welcome to sunny South Africa. So again, just go to our website, check it out. Um, on our website, there's a button that says contact us, hit info at therealsouthafrica.com and that's it. And just let us know what your interests are and we will try to help you make it happen. So we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. All right, guys, what did you think about that video? I know you're like, man, I need to get to Cape Town as soon as possible. It'll be there waiting on you. Just uh, get yourself sorted out. Uh, work with us. We can get you there fairly simply. Uh, make sure everything is, is sorted out for you so you won't be looking for events and things to do and people to connect with. We take care of all that for you. So all you got to do is just come and have a proper vacation. And I'm, I will be honest with you. South Africa and of course Cape Town would be a definite proper vacation. Um, you would have never seen views like this in your entire life so you might as well come now and of course it's in Africa so it's going to be better. So we will see you here in sunny South Africa. Go to our website therealsouthafrica.com and we got you covered. Oh yeah, did you subscribe? If you didn't go back, take care of it. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.